Hello everyone. Today, we're going to demonstrate how to establish communication between a WinTech HMI and a Compact Logics PLC. During this demonstration, I'll be using a CMT3092X and a 5069L36ERM PLC. To begin, I have EasyBuilder Pro open, and I've created a new project for my CMT3092X. Initially, when you create a new project, EasyBuilder Pro will display the system parameters. This is where we'll add the driver that we need to communicate with our Compact Logics PLC. If you don't see the system parameters within your application, you can find this window by selecting the Home tab and then click System Parameters in the top left corner. Within the Device tab of our System Parameters, We'll select New Device Slash Server. In the following menu, next to Device Type, I'll select the drop down list and then search for our Rockwell drivers. I'm going to select the Rockwell Ethernet IP Compact Logics Free Tag Names driver. Then, with our driver selected, I'm going to configure the IP of my device by selecting the Settings button. Once finished, I'll click OK and return to the Device tab of our system parameters. Next, let's open our Compact Logics project in Studio 5000 and export our tag file. There are two different file formats that are supported within EasyBuilder Pro CSV and L5X. When possible, our support team recommends using an L5X file during tag import. The L5X file will contain information pertaining to UDTs, remote I.O., and alias tags configured within Studio 5000. When using a CSV file, alias and remote I.O. tags will not be imported, and the user will need to configure UDTs using our structure editor. If you are unable to export an L5X file because you are using an older version of Studio 5000 and would like help configuring UDTs within your project, please see the description for a link to a separate tutorial that covers this process. Now, because a CSV file may present limitations during tag import, we'll be using an L5X file during this demonstration. To export our tags, let's click File, Save As, and when prompted, select L5X as our file extension. Within EasyBuilder Pro, I'll ensure that the driver for our Compact Logics is selected. Below our device list, I'm going to click Import Tags. And within the following menu, I'll select Import Files L5X and click OK. When prompted, I'll search for the L5X file within my file browser and click Open, after which the Tag Manager will display, allowing us to select what tags that we would like to import within our project. I'll use the Select All button to ensure that all of our tags will be imported, and then I'll click OK once more we should receive a message stating that our tag import was successful, meaning that we can now configure objects that utilize these tags. Let's close our system parameters and test communication by signing our run tag to a toggle switch. To do this, I'm going to select the Object tab, and on the top left, I'll click Toggle Switch. Within the device drop down list, I'll ensure that the driver for our Compact Logics is selected. And within our tag drop down list, I'll select my run tag. Now, I'll click OK, place this object, and within the project tab, I'll select Online Simulation and follow the prompts to save and compile my project.
I have my simulation running, and I'm also online with our PLC. Let's test our toggle switch, and you'll notice that we have now successfully established communication with our device. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our channel to check out the latest technical tutorials. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.